Hi everyone and welcome back for another video. I thought I'd bring you out today, we've got lovely weather, it's late spring, early summer here in the UK and what we're going to be doing is heading into the woods and I'm going to show you a few things. Now my kit is going a lot more traditional and I hope my videos are starting to reflect this but also I wanted to show you a really really quick way of making some really tasty trail food. So stick with me guys, we'll find somewhere to set up camp, we'll get a fire going and we'll get a brew on and cook some food. So everyone, come into the woods now, found a nice secluded space and I've just cleared some of the earth so that we can have a fire. Now the fire today is going to be a personal small fire just to repel insects and cook on. We don't need it for any heat or anything like that. So usual setup raft of um, sticks with my tinder on top I've got a small pile of twigs here and then some thicker ones over here we're in a hazel coppice so I picked that deliberately one we've got um, easy access for wood for anything we may need to build and two we've always got firewood as if you look in the little bits of the um, in the little coppices there's always little dead bits of hazel all still standing all burned dry so guys, usual method, fire steel and knife. I'm going to give this a go. There we go guys. Now this tinder is from RJ Bushcraft. And it's a tinder I got with my new tinder pouch. And from what I can work out, it's waxed um, pine so it'll have a bit of a prolonged burn on it. As you can see, it lit pretty easily. Little effort to light it, which is what I like. That's burning very, very strong. And probably just spread these across there. There we go guys, simple and as easy as that. So everyone, when we're in the woods like we are today and we're wanting a really quick little trail snack to keep us going, to give us some energy, or maybe we've decided to stop for the day and we want to get some, some food on the go very quickly as we're really hungry. It's a really good idea to, to cook in this manner. Now as you can see I've got a Y stick here and another green stick here. And that's all we need, that's all we need for this setup. Now this is hazel, really really good wood as I said earlier. I'm in the hazel coppice and I've done that deliberately. So what we're going to do is just remove this bark with the back of our knife and all we're doing there is making sure that we have a clean surface for our food to go on. I'm sure most of you have seen this done many times but just to make sure I want to show you and then we just need to point the end of this a little bit to help us get our food over that and that's it the rest of the stick can stay with the bark on and we're literally going to do it like so with the other end just poked in the ground we don't need anything holding that we're not going to put a large amount of weight on it so we'll get our food out now guys so guys the food of choice today is chorizo so we're going to start just popping these over our stick and 
just evenly spaced out like this guys now I've only used half of the um, sausage that I brought with me the other half I can use a, another time but this will do me for my little woodland snack So guys, our chorizo is now cooked and all we, all we do is take it off the fire and one of my recent uh, purchases at the show was this fork now it's just a metal fork and it's just going to make my cutlery kit very very simple and very very easy all I'm going to be carrying is this fork um, need to get a, maybe a spoon for it and then just my usual knife so guys we are now ready to break camp so a stick that we used to cook on can just be thrown into the brush that'll decay same with the fork stick and now our fire now I've burnt it down, right down to ashes and we just need to put any embers that may be in there out. Now what I like to do is give it a dousing of water, make sure it's all out and then I will actually use <coughs> an off cut of stick from earlier and what I do is I mash the ground make sure all the water gets down in there it can store heat in the ground and then any out and um, any little bits of off cut bits that are unburnt i'll just scatter into the brush and what what will happen is this will decay and it's actually good for the, for the ground in, in smaller doses. So guys, that's now just steam. I'm going to cover it back over with the earth. Uh, Like so. So everyone, sadly that's all we've got time for. And it's back on the trail for me. Thank you for watching. Please remember to comment, like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care guys.